-hmm. Hello guys, my name is Marshall. I am from the Ferdinhoffs. You can follow us on our Instagram page at the Ferdinhoffs. And today we are going to talk about ice fishing essentials. Things that you need, what you need to bring, what you, what we bring, stuff like that. Uh, first off, we're going to talk about our basic needs. Our ice hut, like a flip over or pop up, depends on your price range, what you can afford, stuff like that. Uh, an auger, it could be hand auger, it can be power auger, gas auger, any of those will work. Um, also a heater, your rods, uh, your tackle, your headlamp and your safety gear because remember safety gear is very important because no ice is safe ice a nice pair of cleats are really good to wear um, especially on those days that there is no uh, no snow on the ice um, ice picks are very nice to have especially on early ice but i always carry some with me anytime i go out a first aid kit uh, extra rope and a nice quality headlamp Especially on those days that you walk out or if you're driving out, whatever you're doing, if you're going out at night and you know, like me, I like to fish until dark. So I like to have a nice quality headlamp to get me back to where my vehicle is or back home, however you want to look at it. Um, and then we talk about just the extra stuff, like a nice quality um, a camera you can have a camera you can have depth finder you can have a flasher whatever you want, whatever you prefer uh, we have an aqua view it has 75 foot of cable works really well uh, you can see what's going on the structure down there stuff like that the fish um, the only thing is um, like panfish they're not real shy about the camera but bigger fish like white fish uh, lake trout you know they kind of shy away from the camera a good quality um fishing rod holder case to get your rods out on onto the ice and off the ice safely a uh, good heater is always good to have especially on those cold days when you're going out there and you want to keep your hut warm this is a martin that does really well we even put soup cans on top to keep things warm um and then i like to have uh, a rod holder uh, at least a few rod holders let me find one here uh, a rod holder for dead sticking or whatever you need to do or just holding it just to sit there while you're retying. Um, I bring a nice pack shovel for those days, those cold days that you want to cover snow and put it on your skirt of your of your hut. This is from Rapala. It's a nice pack shovel or you can even have a snow shovel. That works too. Um, and then I like to bring a bag that carries all my extra stuff. Now this I try to be basic as I, I, as I can, extra propane, extra batteries for my auger, you know, any extra batteries for my headlamp or any extra rope or whatever you want to put in here, I only, that's what I bring. Uh, and then, you know, an auger, you can have a hand auger, you can have a power auger. This is on a clamp plate, this is a seaboard uh, drill, I've had it for years, it does really well, I just change the blades every couple years. Um, and then, you know, your, your fishing rods, uh, you have medium, you have, well, you have a light, you have a medium, you have a medium light, you have heavy, it all depends on the application of the fish you're fishing for. You can have, uh, you can have like mono for the finesse fishing, you know, with your light, like fluorocarbon line or four pound test, you know, for, you know, those small fish or the fish that are very finicky to bite. Um, braided line for those deep water applications where you're where you need to make sure you get a good hook set uh, and I always put fluorocarbon leader on there uh, anywhere from six seven foot fluorocarbon leader it depends on you know the type of fish and uh, and you know I, I, we really like to fish for uh, panfish perch stuff like that so I like to have a nice um, ultralight rod those are really they're a lot of fun and you know even the little fish bend them. Um, and then, you know, just your tackle. I don't like to have a lot of tackle. I try to be as basically as I can, just try to bring out what I need. I know this looks like a lot. There's a little more than here than I'm supposed to have, but this is what I brought out. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, seeds, if you want to have seeds for your huts, um, you can do that. Or even on warm days, you just sit on a bucket. You don't even need a hut. 
you can go out there and do that. Uh, but it really all depends on what your uh, preference is. And that's pretty much it. That's what we bring out, what you need, for, especially for essentials. So thank you very much and you have a great day. And remember, no ice is safe ice. And thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.